here um, doing a video on if you, this is if you're beginning uh, beginner cuber and you're just getting started out I wanted to do a video on what is the best one to start with and the easiest uh, going up to more difficult um, I and these are videos that I've already done as well the very first cube that you should do it's really not a cube it's the let me move these back here it's the pyraminx and you can click on the link below to see the pyraminx video it's fairly easy to do so i would go ahead and um, i highly recommend getting one of these you can get it on amazon or ebay and it's a fun cube it's not a cube a pyramid puzzle to do and it's super easy no algorithms to memorize or anything like that and uh, I would highly recommend this for beginners for sure it's really cool then the next level of um, difficulty I would say is the skew and I just did a skew video as well go ahead and click on that one if you're interested in doing this uh, the skew I would say it's pretty similar in difficulty to the pyraminx um, but I would say it's a little more difficult just slightly so start with the pyraminx then do the skew all right then we're gonna get into the cube stuff like the Rubik's cube the two by two is the next one um, one thing about the two by twos if you look <clears throat> excuse me the Rubik's cube uh, which is you know actually a Rubik's cube it's a little smaller than some of these other two by two cubes I like the bigger version um, I don't know it's just easier to, to, to play with and what have you but um, so yeah you can get a bigger version of this one and the little one's good too these will you can do with two algorithms uh, the algorithms are not a big deal they're easy to memorize if you check out my video on the two by two you can learn how to do that uh, with two simple patterns that you need to learn in order to solve the cube um, there are other videos with so many algorithms it's ridiculous it makes it so difficult it's not an easy it's not a difficult cube to solve uh, but you need to learn just those two basic algorithms to do it with my method. It is the easiest method out there. So that's the two by two. After you've done the pyraminx, you've done the skew, you've done the two by two. Then we get into the three by three. This is a regular Rubik's cube, I think. I don't see Rubik's cube's tag on it. But you do the three by three, which is really cool. I also. Um, incorporate the two algorithms from the two by two into the three by three and you learn two additional algorithms for the four by four um, there are videos out there that say three by three with no algorithms they're liars 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 all they do is look well, i'm gonna do an algorithm right now so you know okay I'll do the algorithm. It's R U R prime U R U two times R prime, right? So I do that algorithm. This is how they would do it. Okay, this is a video with no algorithms. Um, you turn this side this way, then you turn the upside this way, then you turn the side down, then you turn the upside this way, and then you turn the right side down, then you turn the upside twice. And then you turn the right side down. Okay, well that was an algorithm. You could say it's not, but it is. And how are you going to memorize that? It's like, well, you're not... The only way to solve that way is by always looking at the video. I'm teaching you how to do it so you don't need to refer to the video anymore. How easy is that? Like, I'll show you right here. Boom! You've got this little fish pattern. See that? You've got this uh, blue facing you. You do the simple algorithm. Are you our prime? You are U2 times R prime. R prime is a simple um, for counterclockwise. And then look, it's we're solved. Anyway, the point is you can't do the Rubik's Cubes without algorithms, people. Okay, 
I know they're getting tons of views and in what a bore fest to sit there and have them give you instructions without the map. That's just crazy. It's like, hey, turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here. Well, how do you get back if you don't have the map? So guys, I provide you the map and you only need four algorithms and I just showed you one. So that's the three by three, uh, more difficult. And then of course you've got the four by four and this is the carbon fiber four by four, which I love, it's so cool. I'm um, doing a video on this one too, just solving the four by four and with the carbon fiber cube. Um, yeah, you also order this Amazon and uh, eBay. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, there's so many cubes out there and different puzzles. And um, I think these are pretty much the standard ones to start with that I think are really easy and fun to do. My 4x4 is really my favorite right now. We'll see if the 5x5 becomes one of my favorite in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment and subscribe. We're going to do all kinds of other videos, too, that aren't necessarily cube related but we'll continue doing the cube stuff as well take care peace